Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. BOTB are a dream car competition company who give away not one, but two cars each and every week. They give away a car in their dream car competition and they give away a car in their midweek competition. On top of this, they also give you £50,000 worth of cash in the boot. Tickets range from just between £1.50 to £5 per ticket. And you could be winning yourself a brand new 320 brake horsepower Honda Civic Type R, like the one I'm in now, with £50,000 of cash in the boot for just £1.90. <laughs> There are also 180 other cars to choose from, including Aston Martins, Porsches, Lamborghinis, BMWs, Audis, and more. There's even a chance to win a van. They've been around for 20 years and so far have given away prizes worth 35 million pounds. So now could be the chance that you join their winners list. You only have to be 17 years old or over to enter, and all links on how to enter are in the description down below. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. How are you? You okay? We're uh, we're in Cardiff at the moment. Uh, in Wales? We're in Wales, boy. -o. Really bad accent, I know. <laughs> um, if you watched my last vlog, which lane do we need here then? Do you know what? I think we need this left lane. I'm not sure. Yeah, we do. Because we're going down here. I think I could do that. <laughs> anyway, if you watched my last vlog, we got fully loaded with, uh, well, I say fully loaded, more like three quarters loaded, with polystyrene. Um, and we've got three jobs to do today. We've got uh, Cardiff, which is where we are now. Cardiff, boy -o! <laughs> We got what I was told to be Swansea, which is actually Neath, and that's a Travis Perkins store. And Scott Andrews has told me, Good luck. It, 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 yeah, it, I've seen the video that he's done on it, and you got to reverse in basically, and then do a blind side, and yeah, it don't look fun. And the annoying thing about that particular store is, well, not about the store, but about the delivery, is that I've got one lift, one pack of polystyrene for that one, and then we've got to go to Carmarthen, uh, and it looks like tight country lanes potentially. We, yeah, it don't look nice either. So we were, <laughs> we will be filming today because. Um, is Wales and Wales normally throws up some surprises <laughs> so yeah three drops three deliveries uh, I see what footage I can get off each one um, so yeah happy days the first one is just around the corner we're going to a company called C I think it was CFF or CCF something like that <coughs> one or the other can't remember which one uh, I do have a bit of a cough so I do apologize it's not uh, a harsh cough or a COVID cough, I would say. It's just a tickly cough. And I had a runny nose the other day as well. It's just basically like man flu, I think. So I'm just gonna be careful uh, around other people today, just in case I spread any illnesses. But I feel fine to work. I don't feel ill at all. Just a little bit of a cough. Right, we're gonna head in here. Um, this is where the sat nav tells me to stop. Probably because there's security gates there. I was not expecting security gates. Okay, do I need to speak to someone? Looks like a whole, like, unit. Bow, bow, chicka, wow, wow. Can we go straight on or do we need to go right and around? All drivers must stop at gatehouse. Okay. Where are we going then? We're going to CCF. And I have booked it in. I phoned them up yesterday and I said, what's the earliest I can get there? Uh, it says on the paperwork, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. And they told me, half past seven. So um, we're here now at 10 to eight. <laughs> so it should be fine. Got a little bit of traffic coming through Cardiff. Um, yeah, we've got 16, 21, 20, 23 packs of uh, polystyrene, 23 packs, but there's more than one pack in each lift. I'm gonna say it's like four lifts, max. Right, let's see what he wants. 
Oh, she. Could be a she. Morning, mate. CCF. Cheers, mate. Put my mask on as well. I'm not putting my mask on while driving, mate. Uh, while I'm in my own vehicle. But he said straight down, and then I lost back what he said. So about roundabout. I've got it pinned on my phone, so we should be able to find it. Looks like we go down there. <coughs> Is that a sign? Yeah, that's a sign there. Look. CCS arrow this way. <coughs> Bump. Tell me that's a queue to get into CCF. No, just the one truck. Uh, okay, we've got to stop there. Okay. There's a number to call. Gonna park behind this truck. I'm going to assume it's the same number on my paperwork that I phoned up yesterday. It looked like to begin with he was just waiting for no reason, but uh, it turns out, or it looks like at least, we've got to make a phone call. So, let's call the number on our paperwork. Hi there, Leanne. Yeah, I've got a delivery of uh, polystyrene for you. I'm outside your gates where it says stop. Right, okay. And uh, who is it from? Who are you delivering on behalf of? Uh, it's, uh, it says from Vita, V I T A, Vita yeah. Cellular Phones. Okay, and what's your vehicle, Reg? Vehicle Reg is G14. Yeah. H S H. And on there, there should be a customer reference. It starts 4808. Uh, yeah, 4808. Uh, Fantastic. Right, if you wait with your vehicle, I'll let the guys know you're here and they'll come out and call you in. Brilliant, thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Cheers, bye. I'll just cover the you know you've got a phone number. Yeah, it says on the paperwork. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Wicked. Uh, that's nice of him as well to let me know. So, excellent. Eh? Yeah, uh, oh, he's being flashed in now, look, I don't think you can see from there, or can you? Yeah, you can just about see. There's a forklift down there, it's just flashed them in. So, we shall now pull forward. Yeah, it's weird, when, when I first come around the corner, I saw him there, I just, it looked almost as if he was uh, just having a break or something, and then I saw the stop signs. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it said call the number in front, and uh, then remembered I called him yesterday to book it in. So, but obviously I've got to book in again when I get here. Never mind. Right, um, I'll see you when we get unloaded and we head back out. I don't want to do too much filming inside places like this. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's all coming off now. It's that, that, and that's for the first drop. This one here is the only one for the Travis Perkins we're about to go to. That one lift that says second on it. Apparently the store is a pain in the ass. And we're going just for that one. And then the uh, the black stuff is then going to uh, another place, Carmarvin somewhere. But yeah, Cardiff, Neath, Carmarvin. Let's go. Ah, done. A little bit strict. Bam, bam, bam. Got away hard that drive. 
got a rate face mask drive, which I already had on. Got to put your keys in a bucket drive and your paperwork in a bucket drive. <laughs> anyway, we only had four lifts, as I thought. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's now quarter past eight, so we've been here uh, 25 minutes, including waiting at the gate. So, not too shabby. I take it we go out the way we come in. I haven't been told otherwise. Turn these hazards off. Well, I haven't I haven't been told there's another way out, so I'm, I'm going this way. If it's wrong, it's wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, we got 50 minutes, uh, no, 60 minutes, an hour, an hour to get to uh, our next destination. Well, I say it, I say we got an hour to get. I mean, it's going to take an hour to get to our next destination. So uh, it's going to be about nine o'clock. Hopefully, everyone will have gone to work by then, or, or will have arrived at work by then. Because the place we're going to is like a little industrial area. And uh, my worry is that if I get there like 10 to nine, five to nine, everyone's going to be turning up to go to work. It's going to be chock a block. So I might actually just take it a little bit steady. Uh, sat now, now rearranging the time. Quarter past nine, it's saying now. So yeah, I might I might just take it a little bit steady on the way there. Uh, I don't want to be getting there too close to nine o'clock. It doesn't look nice. I'm going to give them a call as well on the way and just ask them what they think I should do, reversing or driving. Um, give them my ETA so they know I'm coming, and at least then they could potentially bank some of me in as well. So that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to get out of here. Let's leave this compound, whatever you want to call it. We'll take a nice wide swing to get the trailer past. All drivers must stop at the barrier. Yeah, thumbs up. It's hard to see because the uh, there's a light shining right in your eye. <laughs> but it said stop, so I stopped. Uh, and he put his thumb up. Right, I'm gonna uh, make my way now to uh, to Neath near Swansea see you in a little while. It should be a bit lighter then as well. See you in a bit. Right, just about to get off the A465 uh, and we are now heading to Travis Perkins in Neath which um, is going to be a little bit of fun I think. We will see. Uh, Scott Andrews done a video. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm lucky and I've managed I'll, I'll post like a little clip up here. I have phoned the store <laughs> and they actually said in a Welsh accent, I'll try. I'm probably going to slaughter the accent. I tell you what, you've come, you're coming at a good time. You are. That's, that's good. I like that. That's a good accent. I tell you what, you're coming at a good time. You are. It's really quiet around here. Okay, I've gone Indian. I've gone Indian. Okay. This 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 happens. I, I try to do Welsh and I go Indian. But basically, he said I'm coming at a good time. I said I'll be there about ten past nine. He said, yeah. He, should, he goes, it's, it's it's quiet around here at the moment. It's quiet around here at the moment. It is. No, it's, I've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, right. We're gonna go left here. And we need to do uh, we need to do a good side reverse around what appears to be quite a tight turn, and then a blind side. All while uh, traffic could be around us. Oh look, traffic's Perkins. I got a bloody rigid truck right behind me. Is he following me? That's what I want to know. No, he's not following me. Okay. Haven't seen Scott's video. This bit looks familiar. Oh, I wonder if I can like put it side by side, me and Scott. That'd be quite cool. Right, I do have a car right behind me. This is the one we need to reverse down. Where has he gone? Where's that car gone? The car's leaving me plenty of room. Okay, happy days.
watch the front, it's kicking out. And let's catch it, let's catch it, let's catch it. Just need to go through it a little bit and try and uh, catch it a little bit. Got a, a vehicle behind me as well. Happy days. Yeah, we do have a van right behind us. I'm trying to get on the right hand side of the road so we can get past me on the uh, pavement here. I'm hoping he's beeping because he's saying thanks. I'm not beeping because I've upset him. Right, now hopefully we can go back. Am I beating Scott? The side by side video? I'm definitely putting his up side by side. Now this is the tricky bit because it's a blind side. All we got is the road curve to go by. There's the van there, he's gonna have to move. You're gonna have to move, boyo. I'm coming. Oh, that was an easy blind. That was an easy blind, Scott! You made that look hard. In the curb there, eh? There's a van right behind me. Mate, you need to keep going backwards, mate, because I'm going back. I'm getting on the left-hand side. You can overtake me on the right. I actually do need to be on the other side of the road thinking about it, because it's on the passenger side. Thank you very much. Right, I'm just going to let this uh, tar through. Thank you. That car gave me loads of room. If you look at Scott's video, there's a van in front of him and just kept sneaking up on him. Being a bit of a, a naughty word. Right. The problem we got at the moment is that it's on our left side, on our passenger side. So I'm just going to go speak to them and see, what they, see where they want me and uh, possibly move over. So, see you in a bit. Right, that's that done. We uh, reversed, reversed over there, down over here. And now we're good to go. Let this car go fast. Right, let's get out of here. Right, that's a neef done. Hang on. Ugh. Yeah, that's neef done. We, we've been here like 10 minutes. What time we start this morning? Start thinking about break. I can go in there. One more delivery to do. And it's, <laughs> it's only 20 past nine and we've got one more delivery to do. Uh, we're going towards Carmarthen, but actually Trelec, Trelec is where we're near. Pretty sure Scott actually said, uh, do not go to Trelec. <laughs> but that's where we're going next. Looks like it could be quite tight. Right, hazards off. Let's go. Whew. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, it was easy enough. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's a bit harder when it's a, when it's a lot busier. Potentially like when it was for Scott, for example, it looked like it was busier, and he had that van following him all the way in, didn't he? But uh, nah. Piece of puddle. <laughs> Drive up there, reverse on in, easy peasy. Oh, look at that low bridge. Should we make a convertible out of the trailer? Bloody hell, that is low. <laughs> that is a low bridge. That's possibly one of the lowest bridges I've seen. Belly Buster's calf. Oh, oh, oh! That sounds nice. <laughs> uh, Sat now was telling me to turn right down here, but I, I thought that was one-way system. No, no. I can go this way. Oh, it's one-way system down there a bit more. I can go this way. Happy days. Yeah, we're on uh, two hours and forty-five minutes driving, so we got an hour and forty-five. Yeah. Yeah, an hour and 45 minutes left of driving. We're an hour away from our next destination. Uh, so we're going to head straight there. We're going to be there for half past 10. And then we'll, uh, we'll think about having a break. Yeah, we can get out. Then we're going to think about having a break. Um, either there or somewhere around there. I'm going to I'm gonna assume there's going to be laybys or something around there. It's a load of B roads, country roads. So there might not be. But there might be. <laughs> we'll... Uh, we're going to try. We're going to try. Let's get in the right lane because we want to turn around and come back this way. Happy day. Is that even a roundabout? It's quite, quite a tight one. Ugh. Round we go. There we go. Right, yeah, so about an hour to get to our next destination. I'll see you when we get there. Out in stormy weather, I might have the blues, but nothing ever stopped me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see me falling to the ground. Okay, we are, we're a good five minutes away still, about three miles on these country lanes. Oh, it was tight back there where we were just now. I tried to film it on the way out. Um, I, I, just, I did a time lapse, so you, you've seen it already on the time lapse, but I'd, I'll try to remember to do it properly on the way out um, so you can just see the speed I'm actually going at. <laughs> now, I have called ahead to say I'm on my way in because obviously it's quite tight, uh, and there's a lorry in there. So um, they've asked me to just wait outside for the lorry to come out. Um, but they said he won't be long, so I kind of, I'm kind of hoping I get there before he leaves, so then I can see him come out. Because if I don't see him come out, then I could be waiting there for half an hour, and there's actually nobody inside. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we've um, gone up and down these country roads. It's, it's quite nice. And how can it get darker during the day in Wales? Like I, I said earlier, oh, it'd be lighter later. No, it's darker. <laughs> Bloody feels like it's darker anyway. Just try and help illuminate the inside a little bit. Is that a car coming I've just seen? No, it was just a, a fence post. Yeah, these country lanes. There was, there's nothing to say I can't come this way. Um, but I did just have to do quite a tight right hand turn. Um, but it was, it was like a blind right turn, so you couldn't see the turn until you got there. So when you approach, you're like, huh? <laughs> but we, we got around it, we got around it. Right, let's make our way there. We're only a couple of miles away now. There we go. In terms of uh, parking, oh why that there's a lorry there in front and he slowed right down. Is it tight? What's coming the other way? Yeah, in terms of uh, drive time, we've got uh, 40 minutes of driving time left. So we're probably going to get a break up on site because, uh, as I said, there's a lay-by outside. But if not, we can make our way back and there's a couple of 
uh, places big enough to park uh, on this bit of road and if we want to go even further then we can head back to the A road and then there's laybys there as well. We'll, um, we'll see. We're literally two minutes away so we're going to use no more than another 10 minutes diving max. Uh, so we've got half an hour to get back to the A road which is plenty to get back. So we are good for parking, that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, we just gotta gotta get into this place first and get these lifts taken off. It's only four lifts. Okay, we're just approaching it now. Got to go around this left bend. There is a car behind me, or a van, or something. Gonna start indicating now. Oh look, there's a lorry there. Is that lorry coming out? I'm just gonna put my hazards on a second. Because that was where I was gonna park. Have you just come out? Yeah? yeah? There's there any other lorries in there? Brilliant. No, I've not been down there. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Mind the ditches. Thank you very much. See you later. Right, so she's just come out. She has said watch the ditches. Uh, there's a bucket there. Going to avoid the bucket. There we go. Oh, right, those ditches. Woo! Doesn't help with the rain. Do not go in the ditches, Luke. If we get. <laughs> shouldn't laugh but if we go in one of these ditches that's it we're screwed because we ain't getting out so I'm just being quiet because I'm obviously watching the ditch di ugh, 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 ditches do not want to go in the ditches I had to be careful with my trailer back there because the trailer nearly went in God, I had to avoid that bucket Oh, oh, it's getting narrow. What the hell? Here's an idea. Fill in the ditches. I got very narrow there. Right, that's where we're delivering. Do we drive down there reverse in? I don't know. I think so. I think we've got to drive down left and then reverse up. Oh, it's very wet. That's wet out there. Right, let me go see someone. I'll be right back. Here, here's a question. Why did I not do my window up? That's a very good question. Because <laughs> now you're wet. Right, so yeah, we've got to drive down there and then reverse on up. Let's go. The weather's just started coming down all of a sudden as well. So we will be getting wet temporarily. There's a lady. <laughs> There's a lady in that house. In fact, I'm probably going to turn the camera off facing that house. Uh, There's a lady in there, not looking very happy. I've just used a drive to, uh, to drive onto. Do 
do of getting over the left a bit more. Actually, if we stay on stay on one side, and I can just move it on over for him. Right, see you in a bit. Woo! That is wet out there. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Right. Gonna take this off now because uh, we've got quite a long time before we're gonna need to wear it again. And it's wet, so actually we put it on the front there and it'll dry up. Right, what we've got to do now is head back to Tetbury. We've got to get reloaded now for Monday. Uh, so let me just put the destination in. Tetbury, there we go, Malcourt, go. Now we've got to get out of here. It's a little bit, it's a little bit tight, but we should be right. Oh. <laughs> That rain is just coming down, man. Bumpy, bumpy. We just need to make sure the trailers are right, as straight as possible. This is the narrow bit here, like, you can see where it goes narrow. Oh. The wheels have got to be like literally on the edge. Woo! Thought we'd go a little bit then on the left side. Whoa. Let's not ditch it. 200 yards is all we got to do. Well, it's getting wider now, that was the worst bit there. 200 more yards and we'll be. Uh, out of the worst of it. Right, driving time, we've got 34 minutes of driving time left. We started at six o'clock today, so we can work until one o'clock. Um, but driving time is, is what's gonna be used up first. So we've got 36 minutes before we need to stop for a 45 minute break. It's three hours until we get to Tetbury. So we should be there for about quarter to two. Yeah, that water and can below is still there on the road. but we can avoid it with some careful precision driving. There we go. <laughs> I say precision driving, my back wheel just kicked it. Right, we're good. We could stop here for a break. But uh, we'll carry on for now. Right, 33 minutes of drive time left. Let I want to get out of this these B roads. I want to get to the A roads and have a break there. So um, I'll see you when we get to the tight bit. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are we're approaching the part now where it gets a little bit tight, a little bit tight. We don't really don't really want to be meeting anybody uh, coming down here, especially especially trucks, especially trucks. Uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Literally taking up the whole road here to go around these bends. Right, getting there, getting to the tight bit. Okay, this this is where we don't want to be meeting anyone else. I've been quite fortunate. It's been relatively quiet. There have been a couple of vehicles come past me, but uh, this is where I don't want any vehicles passing me. Coming down this bit here. Okay, there's there's a car there. I'm gonna have to stop here because it's wider here. Come on through, come on through. You're welcome. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Please, no trucks. If we get any trucks come up, we are in a bit of trouble. Perfectly legal for a truck to come down here as well, would you know? 
perfectly legal. <laughs> I know a road's bigger than this, and if they saw a truck come down, it'd be all over the bloody neighbourhood watch thing. <laughs> There we go, lovely jubbly. And then we've got to make a left turn here, which I believe we need to go on the right hand side of the road to make. So just be careful, because cars could be flying around this turn on the right hand corner, look. Not expecting a truck to be on their side of the road. make it and the river which is going very fast because of the rain ah yeah so that was the worst of it anyway um that little bit there was the worst we're in a 20 zone now because there was a school up here but um road will start to open up and uh we can find some of the park we got we've got 20 minutes of driving time left loads and loads of time because i've seen loads of late boys down here already so yeah let's go and have a break see you in a bit okay we're parked up very close to the road but we're parked up for a break I'm just gonna go back a little bit so I've got a little, little bit of a runway to uh, accelerate back onto this a road we're on the a40 <laughs> my sat nav now thinks I've got to go that way so it's giving me a false ETA <laughs> let's go forward a little bit there we go yeah, so we parked up on 4.19. Sorry, I was just on the phone. Four hours, 19 minutes. So we still got another 10 minutes of driving time left. But uh, like I said, I knew this lay-by was here. So we parked up here. 45 minute break. I better put it on break, can I? Bloody hell. All right. Engine off. Just be rocked about now for 45 minutes. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, and you join me almost well actually it's over three hours later because we had a break as well you join me over three hours later it's now nearly three o'clock in the afternoon we're in england <laughs> we're in tetbury and we're on roads that we know we're just about to go around the corner now and get loaded for monday morning so that's it today is done um i gotta go to some place near chelmsford fin finchin or something or whatever i don't know oh there's a car coming with no lights on there you go you turn it on oh, look at they must have heard me thank you Ooh. Bit of a ditch there. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're about to get loaded now. Um, you're not going to see it, unfortunately. So, yeah, tough. <laughs> um, and this is going to be from Monday morning. So, I just want to take this opportunity now to thank you. Thank you for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. Uh, not been the best weather today in in Wales, has it? Uh, it's been raining most of the day. And when I got to Carmarthen, oh my god, it lashed it down. But I'm glad I didn't go down the ditches. That would have been in bad actually. That would have been interesting if I went down the ditches. But I wouldn't I would be here right now. <laughs> I'd still be there probably. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe. And I will see you soon. In the new year, most likely. If this one hasn't already come out in the new year. Because I got I got good three videos to come out. That I've recorded and edited. So um yeah, this might be this might be the first one of 2022. I don't know about you, but it's nearly 2022. No, no, we'll work on that. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. Drive safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.